We'll start with the world of mobile news. It's been a week, and in the world of mobile, it's like a decade, so lots has happened. But let's today talk a little bit about the things that are coming in. So the new iPad is in. You know it. Let's find out exactly what's been happening with that. And then, of course, coming in is the Samsung Galaxy S3. When will that hit Indian shores? Let's find out. You no longer need to pester your friends and cousins abroad to get you the new iPad. The wait is over. Apple's latest slate has made its way to India. The 9.7-inch tablet flaunts an unmatched 2048 into 1536 pixel resolution with a spectacular retina display, quad-core graphics and a dual-core A5X processor. The Wi-Fi only 16GB version is priced at Rs 30,500, 32GB at 36,500 and 64 GB at Rs 42,500, while the Wi-Fi and 4G variant is for 38,900, 44,900 and 50,900 respectively. With the new iPad in India, the price of the iPad 2 has dropped by almost 2,000 to 5,000 rupees across different variants. around the corner and we can hear it breathe. The next in the Samsung Galaxy S series will be launched at an event in London on the 3rd of May. But days before the official launch, the rumoured Galaxy S3 was caught on camera with a Vietnamese website. As per the video leak, the phone will support a 4.6-inch screen HD pixel resolution along with an 8-megapixel HD camera at the back. Samsung's proprietary quad-core 1.4 GHz CPU will be the source of power for this smartphone. The website claims that the phone will support NFC and will run on the Android 4.0 OS. Samsung may also announce its own cloud service called, wait for it, the S-Cloud. Just a matter of days now to put all doubts to rest, the Cellguru team will be in London to cover the event live. The world awaits with bated breath because this is a big one. Many players, many gambles, many, many company reputations at stake. Intel, not a player in the mobile phone. Finally comes into this, the Lava phone. And their claim that this is faster, speedier, and has a better battery life than anything that the competition can offer. Can Intel pull it off? The proof of the pudding is in the product itself. So let's start with a review of the product. 1971, Intel creates the world's first commercial microprocessor chip. By 1990, Intel became the dominant supplier of microprocessors for PCs and literally ruled the personal computing world. But in mobile phones, Intel has no market, no product and no momentum. 1987, the first ARM-based chips and processors are released. By 2005, about 98% of the more than 1 billion mobile phones sold each year use the ARM processor. Intel still has zero market share in this huge market. We have a vision for where we want to go. We think we have great technology. We just perhaps were doing many things and we weren't as focused as we should have been. So we've, we've changed that. But the story may change now with a vengeance. The first ever smartphone powered by Intel processors has made its foray into the Indian markets with Lava. The device is named Zolo. Quite catchy, isn't it? Zolo proposition is very different from Lava. So, so when, we, when we first started conceptualizing it in a year and a half or so back, we clearly knew that if you were to participate correctly in the smartphone space, we definitely need a new brand. Because the goodness of Lava is not the same as the goodness that is required for possibly the smartphone market. The design is clean, sleek and sophisticated without any over-the-top design elements. The sides are highlighted with steel which houses all of the ports. The top is host to the power button with a 3.5mm jack. On the left is an HDMI output along with a USB port right below. The right is crowded with a volume rocker, a SIM slot and a camera key. The 4.3 inch display is bright and clear. The screen comes with a stunning resolution of 1024 by 600 pixels. Below it are the four touch-sensitive Android buttons. The interface is neat and the touch is extremely responsive. Running on Android 2.3, it gives you all that you want from your Android device. And the good news is that Lava promises an ICS update soon. 
Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.